Hey guys, John Arnold here for covers, looking ahead to another big World Cup matchup, and this is a big one. It's Canada against Belgium at 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday from the Alrion Stadium. First of all, I think it's worth noting that this is the first time since 1986 that Canada will be playing in the Men's World Cup. It's a spot that Canada has earned. Canada deserves to be here. It's been a long qualification journey for Canada, and even despite those obstacles, Canada was able to top the entire group, and they did some of it without their best player, Alfonso Davies. It looks like they might have to beat Belgium without him as well. Davies suffered that hamstring injury with Bayern Munich that the club said wasn't a serious issue, but would keep him out of the rest of their club season until the World Cup break. And now it seems like Davies might not be at top speed, manager John Herdman says, for this first game against Belgium. And worse still, midfielder Stefan Ustekio was out with an undisclosed injury, and goalkeeper Milan Borjan also missed training Saturday after suffering some abdominal discomfort in that friendly against Japan. That friendly had some nice things to build off of. Canada won against a good World Cup uh, opponent, a team that's also going to be at this tournament in Qatar, and showed that they still have weapons. Jonathan David, Kyle Lahren, even Lucas Cavallini, we know these guys can score goals when given the opportunities. It's just about who's going to create those chances if Davies doesn't play, if Ustekio doesn't play, and if a midfield that's already a bit of a question mark isn't able to link defense to attack against a strong Belgium squad. The good news for Canada is that, like themselves, Belgium also is showing a bit of rust, maybe. Romelu Lukaku wasn't expected to be fit in time for this game. He won't. He won't be in this match. And some of the players are just not in good form or haven't been seeing lots of minutes at the club level. While Lukaku is out and he is the best forward Belgium has to offer, Michi Bachuwe is a player that scores almost every other game, at least in 2022, once he's sort of locked into his national team role. It's a role that many players around the world would love to have because he's playing right in front of Kevin De Bruyne and Eden Hazard. Now, Hazard hasn't played that many minutes during the season. He's one of those players that I'm curious to see exactly how up for this tournament he is, but we know what he can do, and De Bruyne is the best chance creator in the world. So, you don't need an elite forward to knock things in, and Belgium is really strong at the back as well when you look at goalkeeper and how long that back line, usually of three, has been together. The midfield is a, is a unit that does have some soft spots that maybe Canada can take advantage of. It's just about their midfield also getting past some of their weaknesses to take advantage of the other squads. Can they do it? Is that midfield strong enough? Unfortunately for my North American friends, I don't think so. When I look at some value in this game, I'm seeing De Bruyne plus 150 for an assist at any time, and Belgium to win at minus 210. That number is actually moving in favor of Belgium picks, so I wonder if that's one worth waiting a day or two on and then seeing if you can get an even better number. You can check out all of our picks, all of our thoughts on the Covers YouTube playlist, on the Covers site, so much content around the World Cup, and lots more games to talk about. Hope you'll join us then.